Okay guys, here is a short video for you guys. We have a problem with an actuator. You can kind of see the bracket right here. The one in my hand is what we're gonna be replacing it with. The problem, that type of a mount will not work out of the box with this type of an actuator. So I have had to do a little bit of uh, ingenuity. And what I've done basically is the bracket that comes with this new actuator and it's pretty simple pretty straightforward I basically just punch an extra hole there to work and run a couple of bolts through it where I can bolt it to that housing now ideally what we would do is replace that housing and all with a new one however in the real world we don't always have the luxury of leaving equipment down waiting on parts to come in in order to fix them stuff like this so again, all I'm gonna do is just put this bracket on to that bracket, mount the new actuator and wire it in. Again, this is a discontinued actuator, at least the one that was there, no longer available. I've looked, up, looked for them and even if I did get one, it's gonna take longer to get it in than uh, I really need to leave this down for. So that's what we're doing in this project. Now on this actuator, you've got this notch here that you can see it's going to correspond with that little divot on the bracket so basically what I got to do is just line those up and also you want to make sure that you have got your basically the u-bolt backed out enough to where you can easily put this into place now for this so I'm just gonna see if I can show you guys the way I'm gonna do it I'm basically I'm just gonna get it locked in on the back first and then I should have enough give and I do slip it over the shaft sorry I didn't get that shown to you as clear as I would like for it to be but uh, they're again trying to do this one-handed is not easy but now it's gonna be basically like this so I gotta get everything lined up and then I'm going to basically tighten down the bracket and there again these are 10 millimeter uh, guys I would highly recommend getting yourself just a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet and leaving it in your bag because you're gonna use that pretty heavily this particular actuator does not come with a pigtail already on it. I went ahead and added that prior to doing all this because I really didn't want to be up here trying to dance around uh, wiring it in here on these terminals. That way with this pigtail I can just wire it back into the box up there and uh, that way make it a little bit easier on myself. Now guys, I have got it mounted. You can see it here. Let me zoom out just a bit. Just got to get it wired in. But there again, this is going to be just a short video to show you that this kind of is what we do sometimes in the field. I mean, you guys know that if you've been involved in this stuff very long. Uh, is it the perfect solution? No, but it's a pretty good one. Uh, this is going to get us back in operation and do what we need to do. But anyways, guys, just a short video. Like and share the video. I'd appreciate it. Check out all the links down below in the description. Help support the channel. And guys, we'll see you next time. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave those down below.